So, more renovating in the caravan because, you know, you're never finished with a vintage caravan, right? And I just decided that these, um, the walls, like this, this kind of, you know, I don't, I don't mind the wood grain on the doors. I think that's kind of cool. But these walls have kind of yellowed over the years. Uh, if you can kind of see behind me there, see how it's sort of got a yellowy tinge to it. It just looks dirty all the time. And I've decided ever since I painted the door recently, and it looks so clean and fresh and beautiful. I'm like, that's it. The walls are going white. So it's gonna make the whole place look really sparkly and clean and I'm kind of excited about it. So a uh, few tips from my friend Carolyn at My Tiny Caravan. I'm using um, Dulux Precision as an undercoat primer because it's specially made for sticking to um, shiny surfaces. So no sanding required, which is good because I don't really want to breathe in crappy old glue fumes and dust. And yeah, so I washed everything down. I just used some um, Sally's sugar soap wipes first. And I've got my roller here with the, with the Dulux Precision. And then I'm going to follow that with a, a couple of coats of water-based enamel in the white as well so I've been wanting to do this literally since I got the caravan it's been two years of kind of planning this and I keep telling myself oh you know I'll wait until the weather cools down a bit when it's summer and then I'll wait until the weather warms up a bit because it gets really cold so it's kind of that in-between season now between summer and winter where the weather's quite nice um, it's actually quite warm today so I haven't opened everything up I do have the um, the air conditioner running though so that'll hopefully suck up but actually haven't noticed any smell and I got a special um, water-based enamel that's low VOC um, so no um, toxic fumes because I'm really sensitive to that sort of stuff and when I have painted before I've often ended up feeling very unwell and really bad headaches for about a week afterwards so as soon as this is um, done the first coat I will open all the windows and doors and just let some air flow through it and go for a walk and let it dry until I apply the next coat but yeah exciting news um and yeah I've just I've just come back from uh the Minyip show and shine and did really well with with my busking and um really enjoyed that so yeah I've just got a little bit of time between now and another car show that I'm going to be going to and so I thought, well, you know, a bit of downtime while well, I'm feeling fairly good physically and emotionally is a good time to tackle this renovation project. So stay tuned for it looking very pretty soon. <laughs> See ya. this sucks so bad and why I've put this off for like nearly three years that's I've been wanting to paint these yellowed old walls white and uh, it's really hard to paint a caravan when you live in it because you've got to like move everything around from corner to corner as you go and 
caravans are so hard to paint like if you're painting a house wall you cut in around the edges in the window and then you roll the rest you know but a caravan you're pretty much cutting in constantly like there's so many window frames and cupboards and knickknacks and everything's cutting in there's very rarely a patch where you just get to roll her away except maybe the ceiling you know which i'm also doing holy crap um i've been working on this now this is day four or five solid eight hour days and um and of course at night when i finally dries enough to put it all back together i have to put it all back together to sleep so i'll show you what my house looks like right now it's a bloody disaster uh, slip. So, yep, so as you can see, because I'm working down the lounge end, literally everything is just piled up there. There's just crap everywhere. Uh, yeah, and more crap down here, crap here, crap all over this bench at the moment because I am painting this one. Curtains have to come down. I did take the cupboards off, but um, the screws were so old that the head of the screw literally broke off from the rest of the screw and the screw got left behind in there. So I was like, hmm, this isn't going to work. I've tried drilling them out. So the other cupboards I've actually left on and I'm very carefully having to paint around them, around the hinges and around, oh my gosh, it's so time consuming down here. Yeah, it's gonna look so pretty. This section was already done, like I did that first. And I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. But the rest of it, I'm hoping tomorrow I might get it finished. I'm doing, I've done the undercoat, prepper coat all everywhere. I've just done the first coat. I'm just doing the first coat of the actual paint now. Yeah, maybe a few more days. Oh my gosh, I am so sore. Seriously, oh, I'm going to need a massage after all this, and I'm going to book myself in for a massage. And yeah, look, my hair is going so grey at the moment, or it could be paint. And no, I think it's actually grey, <laughs> which I don't mind at all. I'm fine with grey hair. Um, I'm embracing it. It's all good. But yeah, making my little house look so pretty. So taking a bit of time out from the road and getting it done while the weather is, you know, this is one thing I haven't done it for ages was because it was like too hot, it's too cold, it's too hot, too hot. Now in autumn, it's windy day to day. So I've got all the screen, like I've, the ones I've still got a screen on is that one and down the back here, I've still got a screen on that one so the flies don't come in. Really breezy and windy and warm during the day, like 25 degrees, perfect for paint drying situation. And then um, at night it's it's cool and um, I can actually put the heater on so that helps dry it up as well but I'm using special paint that's low VOC paint so there's no toxic fumes really that I'm inhaling at this point um, yeah just trying to keep as much ventilation as possible and um, can't wait to show it to you when it's all finally put back together and oh gosh yeah this is really not fun my friend carolyn she said to me oh you love this stuff lisa you love it and i'm like no i actually really don't just because i wrote a book about decorating vintage caravans don't get me wrong i hate it i hate it i just like what it looks like when it's done and it's really pretty and it's worth it so um yeah stay tuned priscilla getting a makeover again never ends with these old vans like yeah and after that i've got to replace all these old window rubbers that are all cracked and falling out and stuck together with glue which isn't real good so that's that'll be as soon as this painting's done that'll be done and then replacing all the seals on the windows as well um maybe polish the windows up if i have any energy left at all by then but we'll see how we go but yeah anyway see ya <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Told me get my together. Now I got my together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I made it through the weather. Better days are coming.